Hi all. I wanted to talk with you about about bear with me how to understand how to understand and control Satan. So what it is is that you know Satan is very weak, very much weak. And uh, to, to give an example, a perfect example, is that his character and conduct is, 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 is all about intimidation only, only on one thing. If you don't understand him, that's the only way he'll imitate and frustrate you and destroy your life if you don't understand him. And also if you don't understand your own personal identity in Jesus Christ the two main things <coughs> if you don't I'll say it again if you don't understand your identity in Jesus Christ and if you don't know him if you don't believe in him that's when he wreaks havoc in your life and every 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 word he says always ends with a swear word an insulting word or an insulting or an insulting in or in an insulting kind of way because he's trying to impart put curse you every time you every time he speaks every time he speaks he tries to curse you and with that the devil sorry compare that compare that to god when every time god speaks he is blessing you every time he speaks. Even if it's just one, one word, one single word. Even if he, even if he, even if he says love, he actually God means it because the very essence of God is truth and prosperity, and so is Jesus. Jesus is God in the flesh. But when the devil speaks, he speaks through lying through stealing and through destroying which is the three main things of his character of his conduct the devil cannot be any other way rather than to steal to kill and to destroy your life it says that in the bible so you, and there is no middle ground there cannot be any middle ground if there is a middle ground god is going is god has to create it because all all of it belongs to God, even the devil, even God, 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 God owns the devil. You know, that's why the Bible says, "If if I am for you, who can be against you?" The answer the answer is nobody. Nobody is against you. Only you, only you yourself is against your own self, and that's. That's about that's down to that's down to the devil influence you because you don't understand God because you don't understand God and you don't understand the, the devil. If you don't understand both of those things, one of them is going to corrupt your life, which is the devil, and God is going to try and impart and give you fresh revelation of who He is. The, the, so He does. You see, you see the devil using using things and moving things in the air levitating things in the air the reason why he levitates things in the air is because he's trying to do that to show you his power but that's all that's he can only do that the devil can only do that because you don't you don't understand him we don't understand him that's the only way he will do that but if you if yeah that's it is true that the devil still has his powers but he can only operate in his powers if you don't understand him or if you or if you do not believe in God, if you don't believe in God, then the devil will have control over you and he will deceive you and he will and he will perform great mir miracles in front of you. But because I know the truth of Jesus Christ, I will never see these things. Even if I ask the devil into my life, it won't happen because because the truth like like the Bible says the truth sets you free 
and one of the one of the things that because the, the other thing as well the reason why i know all, all of these things is because i'm diagnosed with mental illness i i have the the popular the popular the popular name for the popular i've got the most popular mental illness which is which which i was told is called psychosis which is intrusive thoughts coming into your mind telling you what to do thoughts telling you telling you what to do telling you how to do things in a negative way to kill people to push over old people to to rob someone to pinch someone on the bum to touch their privates to 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 do all sorts of all sorts of wickedness to a human being it's, it all comes from the devil all those thoughts all of those voices you you hear or, or 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 anyone that's mentally ill all those voices that we hear comes directly directly from the devil all of it so so if someone tells me personally god doesn't exist he's all fake because the bible says the bible says the people the one so yeah the bible says the fool says in its heart there is no god the fool there is a literal meaning in that a literal meaning in that and the re it means it means you're under the you're under the influence of the devil believe it or not so you know there there is no when when you when you don't believe in God, you 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 give way to Satan. You give way to to you give way to Satan. You give way to 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 to, to let the devil control you. I mean, me personally, I don't fear death, but I only fear the one true God, God and Jesus Christ. So, so the Bible says, "Fear God, because it's the beginning of wi beginning of wisdom." So, yeah, that's really all I have to say in this video. So, take. Let me just um pray with you. So, Heavenly Father. Thank you for your grace and mercy, O oh God. Help us to understand the true meaning of what it means to 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 know you, O oh God, to know you, to know you, Lord Jesus. To not to to understand what the devil is about, what he does, what he what he what he puts on our what what he puts on us, what he what he what he what he does to influence us, O oh God. Pray grace and mercy be upon us, O God. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ on the situation. Pray free us, O God, in our minds and hearts, in our spirit beings, O God. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ on that situation. Pray anointing and fall upon that situation. Pray grace and mercy, O God, will be upon us and remain with us ever for the rest of our lives. In, Je in Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Before I end this video, if you really want me to show you, show you, G, show you the devil, I can, but he won't be controlling me. I'll be controlling it. The devil is a person, but it's not a proper person. It's a dim, disembodied spirit. It once had a body, so that's why you call it a disembodied spirit. Cause. Because this and un, un, undone is sort of like in and out, but I can't recall which one it, which one's which. Let me give you the translations of of the of the the meaning of this, which is D I S. D I S means D I S means express expressing. Negoti negoti negotiation negotiation could be negotiation but I doubt it. So expressing negotiation 
that's number one number two denoting reversal or absence of an action or state so that's number two denoting reversal or absence of an action or state reversal so like i said this embodied spirit it used to have a body but it doesn't anymore it's just a complete spirit so that this is why we call it it the holy spirit isn't an it it's a it's a physical person it's part of god it's pure and it's spiritual if something's dead you just call it it if you call if you see an object it's just called it if you see a person you don't call a person it because a person a person is alive and well If if it's an animal, you might call it it, but you just call it a dog. You just call it a cat. So we've got we've got the other one, un, un. The meaning of that one is wow. There's not much here, brothers, sisters. Well, oh sorry, yeah, un. On is in the dictionary it's it says a prefix meaning not freely used as an English or formative giving negative or opposite force in object objectives and and their derive derivative adverbs and nouns unfair open bracket unfair unfairly unfairness you you on fault, unseen, unfitting, uniformed, unheard of, ungettable, ungettable, clo close bracket, and less freely used in certain other nouns, unrest, unemployment. Uh, let me just see something. I think, yeah, yeah. You got the. You, I'm hoping you guys got the got the understanding. So what we also have to remember is, before I go, the devil uses confusion to confuse you, to freeze you, freeze your mind, to not let you think purely because we don't understand what's going on around us. It's, that's the only reason. That's the only reason. But people with mental illness, especially psychosis, have a great insight into what the devil is actually saying to humanity, to human beings. So, all in all, they're not sick. They just they just don't know how to cope with it. That's the only thing. That's why they're on the medication and me. So, God bless. Take care. Peace. Oh, dear. I forgot to hit the stop button. I, I pressed pause. Funny.